Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video about a new app that I got for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera. Uh, it just came out actually last week. Uh, it's about six bucks, I believe. And, uh, and what's cool about it is that it's, a, it's for the first time an app actually designed specifically for this camera. So it allows you to basically uh, using Wi-Fi or actually no, using Bluetooth, sorry, uh, to connect to the camera and, uh, and you can control every setting in the camera recording settings you can start and stop recording you can even pull focus uh, if you have micro four third lenses that have af uh, in them uh, so it's pretty cool so we'll kind of quickly show you uh, how the app looks so first if you want to connect obviously make sure your you know bluetooth settings are uh, here and the setup in your camera are enabled uh, and then you know start up the app and you go and you connect to it so uh, you have to enable the Bluetooth, obviously, connect here to the camera. And once you have it connected, it's going to show up here that it's paired. You can just select it and it's going to say attempting to connect to camera. So it's, it, says, it says syncing right now. And yeah, there you are, you're connected. So once you're connected, you can, uh, you know, obviously change all these settings. So here on the left side, you kind of have like a like a recap of all your settings. So here it shows me my you know recording format, the eight to one compression, you know resolution, frame rate, shutter speed, iris, ISO, white balance, and tint. So for example, let's say I want to change the iris, I can just double like click that actually, and right there will take me to that uh, menu for it. So I can change the iris. You can see it's adjusting my iris settings. Uh, I can also change my shutter angle there uh, so let's say I'll kind of adjust my exposure somewhere here um, I can change my ISO here to settings so let's say do 180 shutter and just adjust my ISO so the exposure looks good somewhere there should be good um, and then uh, for example if what else I can do is uh, you know I, I have my auto exposure settings I can actually you know enable that um, and this basically, this uh, kind of a shortcut here on the left, it will allow you to quickly jump through all the settings because the first menu here or the first tab is the co codec. So change your resolution, compression ratio, that's that. Then you have your exposure controls. Then you have your white balance. So you can change the, the white balance uh, just by sliding it around here. Uh, then, uh, for example, you have the different presets here too. In the lens tab, uh, you have controls for zoom. In this case, I have a, a, a prime lens, so I can't zoom. But you have also controls for focus. So I can, as you can see, just pull that and it will focus, for example, there. It's focused on the background. And I can, for example, pull it closer and focus it here on the, the test chart here closer to me. So as you can see there somewhere, I'm focused on that. Uh, what's cool too is you can actually uh, basically set these as your presets. So you have two rack focus points. So for example, let's say I want this to be my rack focus point two. I'll just tap and hold it. It sets it now. It says 76%. And then uh, the other point, I'm going to, for example, focus it there on the background. So I'm going to hold now rack point one. It's 91%, it says. And now I can rack focus between these two by just tapping here. And go like this, like that. Uh, you know, go back and forth. Uh, another thing you can do is you can do out of focus. Uh, you know, basically just focuses and you know whatever happens to be in the center of the frame. Um, so thing, and then the same controls you have for zoom out and zoom in speeds. And then you also have the other menu here setting. Uh, so in here you have was a play control, last clip. You can do frame guides, things like that. Uh, grid style, safe area, zebras. You can enable. Uh, all, all those little extra things. You also have here a uh, slate for the director, for example. You can, you can quickly you know, adjust your things. Uh, slate information, your focal length, things like that. Um, and you also have here uh, settings for, you can do slate mode only, rotation, was it mini bar, other little things like that, which personally I never use. Uh, and then also, yeah, it shows you your two, uh, for example, memory cards and how much more space you have in here. So in case you're, let's say, operating, let's say the camera's up high up, let's say out of out of your reach on a crane or something, you can still see here uh, how, how much recording space you have. 
and if you want to uh, obviously you can you know start and stop recording so just go there you see it starts recording tap again to stop recording uh, by the way this app is only for android right now as far as i know uh the may maybe they'll have another uh version for for apple but uh but yeah it's only for android uh, but there is actually another app for apple that's kind of not just for this camera but it's like for this and then the black magic ursa mini pro uh it's not as full featured i find as this one but uh but yeah it, there is a there is already another apple option uh, but anyways, if you guys are interested, just follow the link to where you can find this app. I uh, have not been sponsored or paid uh, by these guys to, to promote it. Just just thought it, uh, it's a cool app and I will share it with you guys. Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button, uh, share the video and uh, even better, subscribe to my newsletter so you're notified of my future videos. So uh, for that and a lot more, just go to my website at tomantosfilms.com. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.